Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of March going into April. In regards to your love life. Okay, the first card here is the Knight of Swords. Um, so there is definitely a lot of force that's coming in. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with issues in regards to legal issues, uh, or this could be your partner dealing with legal issues. Now, the blockage here, or what's keeping you from progress, is the temperance card. So I feel that you're, you yourself, Sagittarius, are getting in your own way. Um, for some of you guys, it could be just dealing with an energy that comes and goes. There's no stability there. Now, your next card here is the Two of Swords. So yeah, definitely feeling like there is no stability or you're currently experiencing a lot of instability in regards to the person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest or the people or your partner. Um, with the Two of Swords, you're not wanting to see things clearly or uh, they're not wanting to see things clearly. Now, what's coming towards you is the Seven of Swords. Yeah. What's going on, Sagittarius? I feel that a lot of you guys are dealing with people that are very, they're not honest whatsoever. They have double intentions. Um, they're not being transparent in what they want or their feelings towards you, Sagittarius. And I feel that with the Knight of Swords, this could be you being very like aggressive towards friends, towards family members, people around you that may be giving you advice or maybe telling you like this person is not right for you that type of energy and and i feel that that's the reason why you're coming up as you becoming your own blockage you're not wanting to see uh what the universe is showing you or what other people around you are trying to warn you it's kind of like they're trying to give you advice based off from what they've seen and you're still not wanting to see clearly or having faith in this person now, your next card is the Seven of Wands, and this is what's crowning your energy. So if you feel like, if you're questioning yourself, am I trusting too much, or should I start to pay attention to the signs, the people that are telling me? Um, what Spirit is telling you is you, you need to value yourself, Sagittarius. You need to stop ignoring your intuition. Stop ignoring the signs. If this person is constantly showing you red flags like you need to take it for what it is stop giving them the benefit of the doubt because i feel that you're gonna end up feeling empty-handed like you're you were taken for granted now your next card here is the queen of swords this could be an air energy uh, aquarius libra gemini but this could also represent you you needing to like listen to what your head is telling you if your head is throwing out the alarms like don't trust this person or don't, you know, don't listen to your heart. Listen to your head is what they're telling you. And you need to take a step back to be able to really analyze what's going on. If you come to the understanding that everyone around you is telling you that this person is not right for you, maybe one or two people, but if everyone around you is agreeing or having the same point of view as everyone else, then you need to do a little introspection. You need to go a little bit within you and really analyze what is it about, because I feel that those of you guys that are like not wanting to leave this toxic relationship or this connection, I think that it's more like ego-based. Like everyone in the world, the whole world is against us. And like, that's why I'm going to stick it through. Like you're only harming or hurting yourself, Sagittarius, especially if you're doing it because of that. Now, geez, your advice card here is the three of swords. If this person has continuously let you down or has hurt you or taken you for granted or lied to you, or you've caught them multiple times cheating, it's time for you to love yourself enough, Sagittarius, to walk away from this. A person that genuinely loves you is not going to hurt you. We all make mistakes, granted. But continuous hurt? 
This is very toxic energy, you guys. Your next card here is the King of Wands. Could be a fire energy, um, Aries, Leo type of energy. It could be a Sagittarius like yourself. Um, but what they're telling you is you, you need... You need to know your self-worth, Sagittarius. Don't settle with people or don't put up with shit that you shouldn't be dealing with only because you're scared to be alone or only because you're scared you're never going to find someone else or, you know, if there's a feeling of restriction, like, you know, I can't leave my husband, I can't leave my wife because, you know, either they support you or you wouldn't be able, or you feel like you wouldn't be able to make it on your own. It doesn't mean that you have to put up with constant belittling, constant cheating, or constant lying. You got to love yourself. You got to believe in yourself, Sagittarius. Your next card here is the Page of Wands. So there's a message coming through for you with the Nine of Cups. So there's a message coming through for you. For some of you guys, it could represent that based on some type of third party issue, um... It could be news of pregnancy, you guys. And I don't feel like it's pregnancy from you. Although for some, it could represent getting to the point of making a decision to walk away and then you unexpectedly find out that you're pregnant. But I feel that for the majority, it could be finding out that the person, the third party, um is pregnant or will be getting pregnant or getting news about that and that could be where you feel the betrayal or you feel like or even find out that this person was cheating on you and you weren't aware of it don't resist the changes that are happening right now Sagittarius if all points you know or even you if you intuitively have been feeling like something is off uh, your partner's not being honest or is not being transparent. That's your intuition. That's spirit speaking through you. Pay attention to those signs. And love yourself enough to not put up with nonsense or, or to be putting up with shit you shouldn't be putting up with. This is heavy energy. Um, I think that for those of you guys that are dealing with this type of energy um, and, and, and the partner continuously keeps either lying or making up excuses of why or even making you feel like turning the situation around and making you feel like you're the crazy one for thinking this way, put your foot down. Put your foot down and stand up for yourself. Have respect enough to walk away from being mistreated or being treated like like if you're something disposable because you're not Sagittarius. Love yourself, my dear Saggies. I hope this gives you some type of clarity or some type of insight. Um, take the messages for what they are. And I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.